very much. And now at 11, police accuse this man of using his cell phone to record a naked woman at a tanning salon. But she made sure he's now under arrest. And CBS 4's Hank Tester is live from the Kendall business. Hank, what exactly did she do? Oh, well, it's real simple. She fought fire with fire when she noticed that she was being uh, uh, videoed. Uh, then she waited for this guy to come out of an adjoining uh, tanning booth, and she followed him around this entire mall taking video of him. That's how they're able to capture him. Let's take a look. Business is good at Zoom tan. Night and day, a mostly female crowd pays good money for the perfect artificial tan. And then there's this guy, Javier Sotomayor, busted. Police say he's a voyeur with a cell phone shooting pictures inside the tanning salon. Oh my God, it's a terrible, terrible situation. It shouldn't be happening in a community like this. We went to Javier Sotomayor's listed address, wanted to know why he was shooting pictures of unclothed women while tanning. No answer. He was arrested over the weekend. What's your reaction to that? It's creepy. <laughs> It's weird that he, he got arrested. That's good. Yeah. From the police report, the victim noticed that there was a cell phone camera pointing at her private parts from the bottom of the floor up, in between a wooden wall that divides her room and the room of the person that was recording her. Police say that person was Javier Sotomayor. And then the victim took the cell phone video of Sotomayor that eventually led to his arrest. Offensive. She says it's offensive and the guy had no respect for women. Oh, I had no idea. No, I've never, no, the face doesn't look familiar. But a lot of people go in there, so. Everyone we talked to got their tans anyway. Many customers did not have much of a reaction to a guy with a cell phone snapping naughty pictures. Thank you. Well, we reached out to the company's corporate headquarters, and they told us that officials had all gone home, but they'd try and give us a statement. Haven't heard anything yet. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.